It's 1874 and 24-year-old Ada Trotter is soon leaving the Forest of Dean for a new life in Canada. What I really love is riding my horse, galloping, just heading off, travelling, not knowing where you'll end up. One day, I'll travel across Europe, Italy especially, and Rome, all oh, its history and art. So much to discover, to walk amongst it. <laughs> the Forum, the Colosseum, the Pantheon. Ancient history and the classics, alive. Oh, I'll go there one day and see it all with my own eyes. But first, it's North America. The new world. Oh, the life there. It's cities, the people, the melting pot. Oh, I'll go there one day and see it all. Wallace and John, they're my brothers. They're there already in Montreal. They've told me all about it in their letters. And there's the big skies and the prairies and the frontier on horseback. No more of this stuffy place. All its traditions, so many rules. Women, know your place. Canada. America. A fresh start. That's the place for me. I can be what I want to be there. And I am going to be. A writer. I'll write for young women. I'll write about girls with a mind of their own, strong Christian women taking their place in the world. I'll write for newspapers, for magazines too. I'll write about the world, about places, about things that happen. I suppose I might miss this place though. The cool green shade of the woods on a hot summer's day. Those scowl holes haunted by the ghosts of the ancient Britons. The ferns. The lost Roman roads. Picnics by the Wye. Tintern by moonlight. The rush of the seven bulls. And I'll, I'll miss the people. One day, soon, I'll be looking back from America. And I'll remember. I'll remember the Forest of Dean. And I'll write a fine story all about it. The forest will be with me, on the page. Ada Trotter emigrated to Canada, then America, where she lived for the rest of her life. She continued to travel and visited Rome and became a successful writer for newspapers and magazines. Ada also wrote two novels and both of them were set in the Forest of Dean. <laughs>